Undiscovered NAR presents Kisadani Valley. Featuring a look at the Sakuragi Jinja Shrine and Takataki Waterfall. Hello folks, today we are in the Miyataki area of the town of Yoshino in Nara Prefecture. We are taking a look at Kisadani Valley, one of my favorite places in Yoshino for cycling and hiking. That's me by the way, the guide for this video. The entrance to Kisadani Valley is right next to the Yoshino River and is about a 30 minute bike ride from Yamato Kamichi Station, depending on your pace. There are a number of interesting places to visit here, but first let's take a look at the Sakuragi Jinja Shrine. The entrance to the shrine is a unique covered bridge, which is an extremely rare piece of architecture. As you cross the bridge, you can see and hear the beautiful Kisa Creek below. The creek almost seems to separate the human world from the sacred space of the shrine. The shrine stands at the base of the mountainside in a small clearing that lets the sunlight in, giving the area an overall pleasant atmosphere. The following is a simplified demonstration of the usual way to pray at a Shinto shrine in Japan. Bow twice. Clap twice, then bow a final time. Now let's talk a little bit about the history of the Sakuragi Jinja Shrine. Sakuragi Jinja enshrines Emperor Tenmu, whose reign was during the Asuka period. Tenmu is associated with Yoshino because he once took refuge here during a time of conflict over who would become the next ruler of Japan. The name, Sakuragi Jinja, meaning Cherry Tree Shrine, was perhaps inspired by the story of when Tenmu escaped his pursuers here by hiding in some cherry trees. The support from the people of Yoshino that Emperor Tenmu found would go on to forever alter the history of Japan, as he would go on to become the first contemporaneously named emperor of the country. One of my favorite aspects of the shrine is the giant Shimboku tree marked off by the Shimenawa rope. A Shimboku is a sacred tree, and in this case an impressive 7 to 800 year old cedar that stands at about 35 to 40 meters in height. Moving on, let's check out Takataki Falls, which is located farther up the valley. As the road continues onward, it makes its way through a pleasant settlement of homes located in the heart of Kisadani Valley. It feels like a location lost to time and is quite a calming place to travel through. Following the river, we arrive at the trailhead on the right just as the road starts to veer off into the forest again on the left. From the Sakuragi Jinja Shrine, it only takes about 5 to 10 minutes to get to the trailhead here by bike, depending on your pace. And it is only about a 10 minute walk uphill to get to Takataki Waterfall. Right now we're at the entrance to the Kisadani Valley hiking route, which follows this trail right here and we're going to go to Takataki Waterfall. All right, so the trail forks here. We're gonna take the lower fork to get to Takataki Waterfall. Let's go. It's worth noting that the left trail here takes you to Mount Yoshino. And with that, we have arrived at Takataki Waterfall, which means tall waterfall in Japanese. This waterfall has some interesting stories associated with it, including being the location in Yoshino where the famous warrior Minamoto no Yoshitsune washed his horse.
With that, let's head back to the road. To summarize this video, we started in the Miyataki area, followed the road up Kisadani Valley to the Sakuragi Jinja Shrine, and then continued on to Takataki Waterfall. For more info, please check the description of this video. Thank you for watching.